Been into tonight's first ever Class 4A state championship game. Richards rolled into tonight's championship game with a convincing victory Friday. Will their first boys basketball trophy be the big prize? The ZBs and the Bulldogs next. It's class dismissed tonight for America's original March Madness. The class 4A state champion crowned here tonight, Oaklawn Richards taking on Zion Benton in Carve Arena for the first ever 4A state title. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Peoria, Illinois. I am the king of rock and roll tonight. We will crown the king of class 4A for the first time ever. Will it be Zion Benton or will it be Oaklawn Richards? Here to give us some answers in the pregame, Dave Bernhard and Mark Lindo. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Lee. And you know, one of the privileges that we get as far as doing what we do here for the IHSA TV network is we get to go places where not everybody gets to go. We get to see things that people don't get to see. And one of those is when you stand out in the hallway here underneath Carver Arena and see the teams, the coaches, the electricity that just builds prior to a game like this. Their last game, the biggest game of their life, I was back and saw guys with their arms around each other. You saw the emotion and had a chance to talk to Coach Geppetto. And I just said, have fun. He said, that's what it's all about, having some fun in the arena tonight. Let's take a look at how these two teams got the privilege of being here in this state championship ball game. First of all, for the Richards Bulldogs, a six point win over Brother Rice before defeating Lions 72 57. And then two big wins, big margin of victories. The last two games won by a combined of 38 points. Last night in that semifinal win over Lockport, Sean Prattle with 18 points. For Zion Benton, Lenzel Smith, 30 points in that win over Buffalo Grove and then defeating Schaumburg for that sectional championship. Smith went for 20 points and 12 rebounds in that 14 point win over Elgin. And then of course, you saw it in our open, the three pointer by Ronald Stewart to send them here into this particular game, the state championship ball game. Well, you know, it's so- Good evening basketball fans on behalf of the Illinois High School Association of the city of Peoria. Welcome to America's original March Madness. This 4A championship game for class 4A of 2008 features the Oakland Richards Bulldogs 29 and 4 and the Zion Benton Zbees 32 and 3. And now to honor America. Please stand. Remove your caps and pause for a moment of silence to remember the men and women of the armed forces serving us here and around the world away from their families, protecting our freedom. Thank you as we thank them. And now please address the flag with your hand over your heart as Isaac Funk, a senior at Dunlap High School, the soloist sings our national anthem. Oh say can you see by the dawn's early light, what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight, or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. And now, Let's meet the starting lineups for this 4A championship game. At a guard for Richards, a six foot senior. Two, Mike Denson. At a guard for Zion Benton, a 6'1 senior. 11, 
Rodney Klingscales. Another guard for the Bulldogs, a 5'10 senior, 5, Elliot Gonzalez. Another guard for the Zebes, a 5'10 junior, 15, Ronald Stewart. The third guard for Oaklawn Richards, a 6'2 senior, 23, Tony Thomas. At center for Zion Benton, a 6'7 junior, 33, Marcus Yarbrough. At a forward for the Bulldogs, a 6'8 junior, 21, Sean Prattle. At a forward for the ZBs, a 6'4 senior, 24, Antonio Stewart. Players and coaches wish each other good luck at half court. The IHSA, its board of directors, and member schools expect and promote good sportsmanship by all athletes, coaches, students, parents, and spectators. We request your cooperation by supporting the participants and the officials in a positive manner. Do what's right. Thank you. No other state in America can claim the rich history and tradition that's been generated by March Madness in Illinois. It's America's original March Madness. Direct your attention to the arena floor and meet the officials for this game. The referee from Carpentersville, Steve Massey. From Elk Grove Village, Steve Strolton. And from Lamont, Wayne Layer. Presenting the game ball for this championship game will be Will Ball, Social Responsibilities Initiatives Manager for Caterpillar, one of the sponsors of the March Madness experience. All of us thank Caterpillar for their contribution to the greatest high school single event in the country. Your starting lineups for tonight's state championship ball game in class 4A. Denson, Gonzalez, Thomas, Prattle, and Richards. It was Thomas, 13 points, eight rebounds, and six assists last night. Of course, you have seen, you have heard the shot by Ronald Stewart that sent them in to this title ball game. Keep an eye on that sophomore, Lenzel Smith for Zion Benton. This crowd is in a buzz. Dwayne Wade is in the house. I tell you what, we were asking ourselves about what kind of atmosphere here. It is electric. It was electric when he walked in. It's electric when these ton, 10 student athletes walk to center court. Neither one of these teams have ever played in a state final. One of them is going to win a state championship. And Richards will get it started. This is Elliot Gonzalez. Zion Benton, man to man. Richard's going to go 1 4 low. He'll utilize a ball screen. Will Gonzalez nearly makes it on the pass attempt inside. That is how Richards attempted to start the ball game last night. This is Rodney Klinkscales. He'll get it out to Stewart. He wasn't that close last night with the game winner. Yeah, he didn't know what he doesn't know what to do with all that close. He needs to be 45 feet away to put the crowd into shock. Marcus Yarbrough. Rebound to Mike Denson. A double dribble by Denson. Zion Benton, Antonio Stewart putting pressure in the backcourt causes an early turnover. I've been saying in the first time in the state finals, the Zion Benton appearances have been in the super sectionals. So it does count officially as a state tournament appearance. Clink scales will get things started on the scoreboard tonight for Zion Benton. Baseline on a bounce play, came off one screen, had a quick shot fake, and then found the seam and gets the first bucket of the evening, the first bucket of the state championship game. Kyle Richard for three. 
He's a Missouri Valley player going to Indiana State, their leading scorer. When he can extend his range like that, besides his ability to play with his back to the basket, he can be a star. Just one thing for Richards, if they come out shooting well early, it bodes very well for them. Drop down attempt, looking for Antonio Stewart comes up empty. So quick is the sleight of hands by Richards. They get so many deflections, probably 25 to 28 deflections a game. Does John Chappetta want from his team? This is Tommy Thomas. And for the first time in about the last 10 minutes, the crowd takes a breath. Denson powers his way up. Antonio Stewart, the rebound. Clink Scales can hurry down the floor. Yarborough, big man inside. Clink Scales hands in the dime. Yarborough with a big body is able to have some soft hands and finish. And they will get Rodney Clink Scales with the foul. Again, Richards, their second appearance. They did play in a super sectional, lost it to Joliet 64-63 when Dwayne Wade played on that team. It's the first time they have been at the state final site. And a whistle and a travel. Tried to run the same set with which intended to isolate Prattle on the strong side block. Don Cloth has come close so, so often, and now he gets to play for the state title in his 19th year of coaching. He's been retired from teaching for three years, but his passion for the game keeps him as a mentor of young men as a coach. Lenzel Smith goes to the ground, a blocking foul on Richards. You can see, you take a look at their defensive scoring average, 45.2 points per game for the Bulldogs how intense they get up and in your face defensively. Well, it's impressive there is that scoring margin. They can blitzkrieg you and beat you by wide margin because of their ability to play transition basketball and create offense from their defense. What a great game within the game. We're gonna see Yarborough and Prattle matched up all night long. To Denson, to Thomas, didn't like it. Prattle can hit this. Denson can shoot it. Great job by Richard. He saw the basketball off the glass, did not try to create a shot. Saw his man on the outside, good inside out basketball, and they drill the three to Denson. Both of the Richards field goals have come outside 19 feet, nine inches, and they lead by two. We're just underway here in your 4A championship. boxing out they aren't doing a very good job on the boards and he said they need to hold the box out make sure get, they get the rebound before they let it go so back to you Dave all right thank you very much Ashley as we take a look at the swarm from Zion Benton they are a believer pun intended on that the Zebes, one of the most unique nicknames in the state of Illinois Denson to inbound to Elliot Gonzalez. Richards has found the bottom of the net twice. Looking for the third, not going to happen from Thomas. Lenzel Smith, a sophomore, but he's a double-double machine. Clink Scales, oh, what a feed inside. Yarbrough with the finish. Clink Scales went coast to coast. Yarbrough put the ball down, had it slapped, but he was able to stay with it, persevere, and finish with a second inside bucket. Prattle goes strong, and with that effort, he will find himself at the free throw line. Both these teams on the move. John Chepetto's team winning 13 of their last 14 games. Zion Benton with the same kind of run themselves. Sean Prattle, six foot eight inch junior. He's got a major decision to make after next year, or at least sometime in the next 12 months. Will it be football or will it be basketball? He has come on so strong in basketball this year, but football, it is big time attention for a young man that likely be playing tight end in college. 
He's got Notre Dame and Colorado, among others, interested him on the gridiron. Iowa, a lot of mid-majors have been interested in basketball. His stock is still rising. He keeps it alive. But Stewart has it for Zion Benton. Ronald Stewart averages 11 points per game, 4.2 assists per game. Lenzel Smith, a threat anywhere on the floor. Clink scales. Great inside position by Tommy Thomas, plays bigger than his six feet two inches. Prattle. ZBs like to run. Stewart. On the double pump move inside, Quintrell Love, who had just checked in the ball game. We talked about Love in. He got a nice assist on the running game, able to finish and hang, get some air time, hang in the air and finish that bucket. There is that streak by Zion Benton. They won their first 17 games of the year, won 16 in their last 17. The only stretch they had that troubled them in the least came in back-to-back -back losses to Lake Forest and Stevenson. Lake Forest loss was two into Stevenson in overtime. Then you saw the one-point loss to Hananiga. They are 32 and three. Clink scales the senior. A major force here early in this game. We see a little bit of adjustment by Coach Cloth on this on this uh, situation because usually you would see Ronald Stewart doing the main part of the ball handling, but right now they see a matchup situation they want to exploit, and Rodney Klinkscales has been going coast to coast with the basketball, directing traffic. You got to look at those comparative scores with a common opponent, Mount Carmel. You can see how evenly matched these two teams come into this ball game. We take a look now for Richards, entering the game is Corey Wolf, a 5'8 senior. Wolf, what a story he is. He did not even get a uniform last year, and here he is five minutes into the state championship ball game. Love an instant offense off the bench. He had 20 in the super section. He had double figures the other night, or nine the other night. He can score off the bench and give them a lift. His four points, the difference in this game here early. Gonzalez will pull it up if you give it to him. Utilize a ball screen from Dwayne McGee. He came off the ball screen, squared his shoulders up, and drilled that with authority. Inside is Antonio Stewart. Plank scale's been penetrating all night and will not get the roll. They just don't have an answer for Clink scale's ability to get into the defense right now. He is taking the ball deep almost without any problem at all. Nobody's stepping in front of him. Carl Richard at the top. And the scramble is on. Mark, you know, the, this tournament, the 4A tournament, prior to it beginning, a lot of folks were conjecturing who might win the state championship. And, and the votes were split among the four teams. But here tonight, you could talk to everybody in this gym, and it would come 50-50. There's no favorite in this game. I don't think there is. Two evenly matched teams, two teams that like to get up and down the floor, two teams that will run track on the basketball court. Backdoor cut from Gonzalez, and it will go off of Elliot Gonzalez. He's looking at a young man right there that makes in the top 10 of his class. His fellow players just absolutely respect what he does for this Richards team. Attack, attack, attack. That's what the ZBs have done. And Antonio Stewart will finish it. 6-4-180. He thought he might have drawn a charge, but didn't happen. No call. Good no call. And Stewart was able to finish it with his upper body strength. Zion Benton, their defense, designed to key their offense. They're not afraid to take some chances. There is an incredible amount of defensive energy, intensity by both teams. Every pass, every dribble is put, put under duress by each team's defense. Everybody having a difficulty moving the basketball whatsoever because of the constant pressure defensively. 
Corey Wolf will leave the game for Richards. You know, and I was going to ask you that, Mark, in terms of the intensity we've had here in this first quarter, is there a, a chance of leg burnout here with as hard as these two people are going? Absolutely possible, but adrenaline right now is carrying both teams. Look out! And the rebound score goes to Quinton Pete. Quinton Pete bailed out Lenzel Smith because he missed the dunk, but Pete was right there to finish things up and at least get the two points on the board. Zion Benton has this game going the way they want. They have it at a pace that I think Richards may be just a wee bit uncomfortable with right now. You know, Richards' closest game was the very first game of the region against Eisenhower. Coach Chepetto said, we survived Eisenhower. They had to win there three times this year at Thanksgiving, regular season, and then in the regional. Mike Denson with another bucket. The pick from Gonzalez. And now it's the Bulldogs' turn to run. Oh, what a feed inside. Richards, two free throws coming up. Great passing, Gonzalez to Denson. Denson then finds the trailer. And the trailer in this case was Richard, the ability to run the floor in traffic. Foul goes against Lenzel Smith. We'll send Carol Richard to the line. Folks that are basketball junkies here in Illinois and have followed the Illinois High School Association State Tournament over the years, remember Joey Range, the superstar from Galesburg High School. John Chepetto says when Carl Richards on his game, he reminds him of Joey Range. He also said that Richards can be the best player on the floor anytime he's locked in. And right now he appears to be locked in, although he missed a couple foul shots. In fact, Richards, Richards, the team, 0 for 4 from the line. Feed inside from Quintrell Love in the reverse. Are you kidding me? What a great shot. He used the defense in the back of the rim as a defender was able to reverse and kiss it off the glass. Lenzel Smith on the finish from Quintrell Love. Smith averaging 21 and a half points a game over his last four. A great tournament run. Tommy Thomas knocks down the three. The quarterback defensive back head of Purdue. He can shoot the rock as well. 57 threes on the year. Final shot attempt coming up here in the first quarter. Link scales to start. And that will bring us to the end of a high paced, intense first quarter. You see the score, Zion Benton 16, Richards 13. Timeout for these local messages. And welcome back to Carver Arena. Zion Benton with a 16-13 lead over Richards. Uh, one of the great nicknames and uh, a lot of great nicknames in the state of Illinois, the ZBs, the fighting ZBs, no less. Now this nickname comes from the CBs, the uh, Great Lakes Naval Station isn't far from Zion Benton, and they kind of took the CBs and made it into ZBs. Of course, CBs stood for Construction Brigade back in World War II, and uh, they took their name from that. Those uh, construction brigades built things like harbors and airstrips and fuel depots in World War II in the islands as the U.S. Army fought its way toward Japan. The Japanese Army retreated, then they became known as the Fighting Seabees, so that's the origin of that great nickname in a state filled with great nicknames, guys. Thank you very much, Lee, for that history lesson, and indeed, uh, the, the rich history of nicknames here in Illinois is something very special. In fact, Zion Benton has played off of that nickname. Their gym is nicknamed the Beehive. Their newspaper is called The Stinger, and that student cheering section we've seen, why, that's the storm. And that's Marcus Yarborough for his sixth point of the night. What a great pass, Lenzel Smith, 6'3", 190, a sophomore, elevated for the shot, and then found his teammate open underneath, and he hands him a dime and an easy bucket. Foul will be called against Richards and Carl Richard as we take a look at our Menards first quarter stats. Save big money at Menards. Zion Benton, 7 out of 15. Richards a little bit more frigid, 5 out of 13. Free throws, they had a chance to make some damage there. They missed all four. 
Balance scoring top to bottom here. Three pointers from Denson, Thomas, and Richard. Again, another great entry pass. This time from Lenzel Smith to Quintrell Love. They return the favor. The interior passing right now is just outstanding by Zion Benton looking below them, looking vertically. Oh, and Carl Richard elevates for three. 22 feet away. He came off a little screen and caught, made a catch. Catch and shoot one, two steps squared up and buried it. 12 of the 16 Richards points have come from three pointers. Good hands by Richard. Denson, Richard, finish. Great job drawing the defense. Give, go, give again. Very unselfish play by Richards in transition. Five straight points now scored by Richards. The Bulldogs have pulled within two. Here comes the defensive pressure. Zion Benton basically playing three guards right now. And it's Gonzalez that reads the drop down pass from Ronald Stewart. Bulldogs with a chance to tie or possibly take the lead with the long one. They'll look long. Uh-uh for Thomas. Lenzel Smith cannot handle it inside. Gonzalez so good on a penetrate and pitch kind of basketball. He gets the ball deep into the paint, draws the defense, and he'll throw it back out to his teammates, spotted up for three-point opportunities. Not what they had in mind off the inbounds. Clink scales, Stewart and Quintrell Love, a trifecta of outstanding perimeter players. And then you have the big horse Yarborough underneath and the super soft Smith. What a diverse this team is offensively. Antonio Stewart has come back into the ball game for the ZBs. You know, in the big picture, this is a young Zion Benton team, the only seniors in the starting lineup. Clink Scales and Stewart just barely drew iron. Tommy Thomas, the outstanding quarterback for the Richards football team. In fact, Thomas, after the quarterfinal loss in the Class 6A state football playoffs, gathered the five members of this basketball team that doubled up as football players, and they made plans to in effect avenge that loss the early end of the football season. They're gonna do it here on the basketball floor. And that was one of the members of that team right there, Sean Prattle. And this is Tommy Thomas. Getting the ball deep, you see him draw the foul, able to square his body up, get the ball up to the glass, not able to convert the three-point play, but Thomas finds himself at the line with everybody kind of catching their breath during this free throw situation. Six straight now scored by Richards. Thomas just a 61% free throw shooter, looked really clean on that one. tied at the 446 mark of the second quarter. The Richards Bulldogs fans are thrilled and we'll be back to Carver Arena after these words from your local sponsors. The Zion Benton fans, they are believers. That is the swarm. You got to look at the Richards crowd moments ago. They are called the blackout. And both of these schools have had great support down here. First time either team has played for a state championship. And they're making the most of it. And Mark, and that is, again, a wonderful thing when you look at what happens, the students, the communities, and how everybody gets wrapped up in an event like this. Well, you know what's neat is people come together as one. It really unites a school, a community, and adds to the educational process for each of those institutions that have a chance to experience this kind of atmosphere together. 
Now Zion Benton looking to regroup from the 7-0 run by Richards. Look at Quintrell Love. Now what Love did, it's, it's going to be Richards basketball, but Love made a huge play there. Well, you know, Love has come in and we talked about his ability to score. He's created some energy. He's got a smile on his face when he plays as well. And right now the quickness of Zion Benton is being a factor trying to get Richards out of their offensive sets in the half court situation, although they are set up 1-4 high right now. Gonzalez working against Love. Long jumper, bounces once, twice, rebound to Smith. Love. Lenzel Smith. This is Stewart for the lead. Stewart had a chance to get his feet underneath him. Able to elevate, catch and shoot situation. He's very dangerous like that. Sean Prattle's had a tough time tonight. Here's Quintrell Love. Gets the roll. Eight points for Quintrell Love off the bench. Tommy Thomas a little bit frustrated. He tried to put some pressure on Love. Love was able to get the kiss from Love off the bench. And then Thomas pushes off offensively a frustration foul. And I think he'll come out of the game. Coach Chappetto sees that frustration and wants him just to settle down emotionally right now. Good coaching by the Richards bench. You know, behind every good coach is good assistance. And Bill Judge was in the final four in 6A football as an assistant. And now he finds himself in the basketball championship game as an assistant. So he's been around his situation at Oak Forest, Bill Judge. I'll update you on Quintrell Love scoring. He has 10 points here off the bench. Yarbrough, boy, had a great catch on a bullet inside. There's a lot of banging going on underneath. Very well officiated game by Steve Massey, Steve Schulten, and Wayne Lair because they know there's bumping, grinding, everything else, but they know that the fans here and the fans around this great state of Illinois basketball want to see these young men's athleticism come to fruition. So after a 7-0 run by Richards, the Bulldogs have watched Zion Benton stick the last five on the board. And Elliot Gonzalez uses every little bit. That's a two. But it stops the 5-0 run and it pulls Richards within three. Saw the graphic, Zion Benton seven points off of turnovers. That's usually how Richards wins basketball games. Zion Benton say, take some of your own medicine. Lenzel Smith going one-on-one -on -one with Carl Richard. Quintrell Love draws the foul from official Wayne Lair from Lamont. Quintrell Love, again, so much energy has been involved since he's been inserted into this lineup early on in the first quarter. Nobody with more than one foul in tonight's game. As you look at John Cepetto, the sixth-year head coach for Richards, 115 wins and 53 losses. We talked about it last night, but what an emotional journey downstate, and especially here into the state championship game for John Cepetto. Corey Wolf makes the front end of a one and one. John's father, a referee, Charlie Cepetto, would always take John Cepetto to the state tournament. It was automatic. His dad died several years ago, and just to be here on his floor chokes up his son, John. Well, John said that his, his father actually was 1996 when he passed away. And the reason I bring that up, 12 years later, he said every time he steps on a court, he still thinks of his father. I think many of us can relate to that. John Cepetto, a field goal kicker at the University of St. Francis in Joliet. And that's where he gets much of his defensive philosophy from, always be aggressive. And you see the aggressiveness off the block sending it the other way. I tell you what, that play started with Richard being a force inside. As the ball went deep, Richard was able to slap the ball off the board. We see the, the end result of Ilya Gonzalez being able to draw the, draw the defense to him and get himself to the free throw line. But it started with the defense of Carl Richards, his athleticism, his length on the interior to be able to swat that ball away and then create transition basketball. Uh, 
Elliot Gonzalez, a soccer player. We talked about it earlier. You see a lot of things from a point guard perspective thanks to your soccer training. Well, you know, his vision on a soccer field, outstanding. His vision on a court, his ability to dribble. You know, they dribble in soccer, but with their feet, they dribble in basketball, and Elliot Gonzalez can do it. I guess they call that ambidextrous, don't they? Right, left, with your feet, feet? hands, yes. <laughs> I think Yogi Berra called it amphibious. <laughs> <laughs> Quintrell, or check that, Glenzel Smith had the good look. 21 points, 11 and a half rebounds, four games. He doesn't play like a sophomore. Mike Le Denson with the headband and into the ball game now for Zion Benton will be Quinton Pete. Glenzel Smith has a chance to turn into one of the most recruitable players in the country. Not just the great state of Illinois, but in the entire nation. Denson up the inbounds. Oh. Rejection. You know, great shot blockers keep the ball in play. Yarbrough is able to do that with that big body, then get his team going. Yarbrough's tip off the love miss does not find a home. Yarborough's father and Klingscale's father both played for North Chicago, yet their sons are in Zion Benton's district. Prettle, you can count it. Talked about Prettle, he's got great lineage in his own right. His father, Ron, played for the University of Michigan in football. You can see his size and athleticism. Gonzalez again making that play, but then the upper body strength by Prettle was able to finish that play and get the conventional three-point opportunity. Elliot Gonzalez, again, was the quarterback setting up his man on the interior pass. It's the first points of the night for Prattle and the free throw troubles for Richards have magnified here. They trail by one. However, Richards here in the first half, four of 11 from the line. Yarbrough on the double, now the triple. Smith going up strong for the board, going up strong with the shot. Two free throws coming up for the sophomore. Great team basketball by the ZB Yarbrough. He wanted to make a play. He felt pressure, gets the ball to the weak side. Quintrell Love, Quintrell Love couldn't finish, but Lenzel Smith stays with it. Just a passion and persistent perseverance as he went to the glass and kept the ball alive, gets himself to the foul stripe. that lead up just a bit. Great offensive rebounders, not always athletic, but you know what it is? It's just a willing, a burning desire to fly to the basketball, and if somebody doesn't block you out and you fly to the basketball, good things will help, will come to you offensively on the glass. Coming up on 60 seconds to play in the first half. Richards will shoot for the tie. Or more. And they've got the lead thanks to Carl Richard up top. Carl Richard set a ball straight at the elbow. Elliot Gonzalez used it, pick and pop. He was able to step out after the screen and get a wide open look on the three. Clink scales the other way. Gonzalez wants to push it. Denson. Prattle so strong. Good foul by Lenzel Smith. Prattle just hanging around on the weak side. He had a wide open layup. Smith had to foul him. No choice but to give it the bucket. In transition, Prattle just strong to the glass. Second foul on Lenzel Smith. He joins Quintrell Love with two personal fouls. Richards, four of 11 from the ninth line tonight. And it will now become four of 12. They are a 63 percent free throw shooting team on the season. This lead by Richards, their first since the five minute mark of the first quarter. They've battled back from a five point and seven point deficits. And yet another miss. But yet the Bulldogs have the ball, a one point lead, and a chance to close out the half. We'll see if they use a ball screen pick and pop again. They're face guarding right now, Ellie Gonzalez. Ball still in Richard's hands. And 
Look out in that front row. It's the hustle from Ira Williams from Zion Benton. Zion Benton switching all screens on the interior right now. When that happens offensively, you have to slip that screen. Long one, Richard. And they will not get a shot off. So the Richards Bulldogs have battled and battled and then battled some more. Survived horrendous free throw shooting, four of 13 from the line, and yet they'll go into the locker room with a one point lead over Zion Benton. We'll go now to Ashley Robinson standing by with John Chepetto. Thanks, Dave. The guys really fought back at the end of that second quarter, but talk to me about the rebounding. You know, the rebounding in the first part of the game was a, was a major issue. You know, we, we weren't disciplined enough on our blockouts, and then even at, at that point, it's not over. You just really got to start fighting for it, have a lot of heart for it. Our kids have a ton of heart. I knew they weren't, we weren't going to get blown out of here. So I'm happy with that. We got to shoot the ball better from the free throw line and take some better shots in the second half. And, and you know what? You never know. We'll see what happens. All right, Coach. Good luck. Back to you, Dave. That short field goal kicker from the University of St. Francis, a big man here in Carver Arena. His team leads by one. Stay there. Big halftime coming up. Hi, this will be Jim Woodward, assisted by Ron Connor. The trophy will be presented by Dub Damaraki. Presenting the fourth place awards will be Ross Cuccio, assisted by Jim Boyd. Dr. Jim Quaid will make that trophy presentation. At this time, Please meet the Porters of Lockport, who finished in fourth place in 4A, a record of 24 and 8. Their superintendent, Dr. Gary Raymond. Principal on the East Campus, Brett Gould. Athletic director, Randy Constance. Trainer. Joe Kinane. Head coach, Lawrence Thompson, Jr. Assistant coach, John Greenan. Assistant coach, Terry Green. Assistant coach, John Meyer. Assistant coach, Brett Hespel. Now the Porter's players. Three, Brian Bradley. Ten, Mike Frigo. Twelve, Rob Carroll. 14, Kyle Ford. 20, Ryan Colazzo. 22, Kevin Malloy. 24, Andre Mays. 30, Darrell Williams. 32, Justin Jaros. 34, Jake Boyce. 42, Aaron Zerskis. 44, Aaron Tucker. 50, Lonnie Pinnock. 52, Landon Gamble. And 54, Kyle Petches. Congratulations, Lockport Porters, fourth place, 4A, 2008. And now meet the Wildcats of Evanston, third place in 4A, a record of 30 and 4. 
Evanston Superintendent, Dr. Eric Witherspoon. Associate Principal, Bruce Romain. Athletic Director, Chris Lavacino. Head Coach, Bobby Locke. Assistant Coach, Robert Bost, Jr. Assistant Coach, Sam White. Now the Wild Kits, the players. Number one, Garrett Jones. Three, Elric Thompson. Ten, Zachary Morton. Eleven, Jordan Nash. Twenty, Sean Kroger Key. Twenty one, Jeremy McCray. Twenty three, Ryan Fraser Chambers. Twenty four, Eric Dorch. Thirty, Stephen Rudnicki. 34, Darian Hunt. 40, Michael Levine. 42, Patrick Hussein. 44, Travis Clark. 50, Danny Farr. 55, Alex Wiss. Brandon Pummels. And James Keeley. Congratulations, Evanston Township. Third place, 4A 2008. And now, will Coach Thompson of the Captains of Lockport step forward and receive the fourth place trophy? Congratulations to the Porters. And now, will Coach Locke and the Captain Zevitson step place and receive the third place trophy? Congratulations to the Wildcats of Evanston. to give back to Richards, it's really important to you. Tell me why it's so important to you personally to give back to that school. Well, you know, first of all, Richards is what, you know, the place that started me, you know, to my journey today. You know, I got my vision at Richards High School, uh, really helped me get to the next level, Marquette, that helped me get to the NBA. So, you know, I always remember my, you know, where I came from, my roots, and uh, Richards started it. Talk to me about Jack Fitzgerald and your personal experience playing on the team there. Yeah, Jack was my man. You know, he still is today. Um, you know, he was a very fiery coach, though. He made sure he stayed under me. Uh, he made sure I did everything, you know, even though I was quote unquote the best player on the team, I still had to be with the guys, I still had to, you know, play team ball. I couldn't go off on my own too much. So he really kept me structured and uh, that really helped me, you know, to where I'm in today. All right. Well, thank you for talking to me. Nice to meet you. And now we'll take a few words from our local break. Back to our Chevy Performance Studio brought to you by Chicago and Northwest Indiana Chevy dealers. See what's new at Chevrolet, go to ChevyDriveChicago.com. Lee Hall along with Anthony Longstreet of Chicago Crane. Thanks to Dwayne Wade for uh, joining us here on the IHSA TV network at halftime. And uh, we're going to take a look at some of the stats from the first half, Coach. And uh, the numbers, I mean, it's a one-point game here at the half. Great to have you with us here in Carver Arena. Halftime in a 4A state championship ball game. Richards by a point over Zion Benton and the head coach of the ZBs. Don Close standing by with Ashley Robinson. Thanks, Dave. Coach, a good majority of the other team's points came from outside the arc. What are you going to do to counter it? Well, they did shoot very well from the threes. I know they had five threes, 
and we just have to make sure that shots are contested. They are a team that penetrates as well, so we wanted to take away penetration first. You know, they are knocking down some threes, but what's most important on those three-point shots, long rebounds, they've gathered some of those, and we have to do a better job in that area. So probably our biggest emphasize, emphasis at half court was rebound better. All right, Coach, thanks. Good luck. Back to you, Dave. Let's take a look at our Honda halftime highlights. Honda featuring the all-new 268 horsepower Accord V6. And we'll get things started with Richards, and we'll get it started with Tommy Thomas. Preble from the outside, inside-outside uh, inside, outside game to Thomas. Then the high-low look and the finish by Smith with an under Neath scoop shot on the reverse layup in transition. Richards runs the give, the go, the finish off the glass. Unselfish passing in the open floor. And then a nice spot up 20 footer by Ronald Stewart. He twing twinkles a twine on that one. There is a buzz in Carver Arena. It's not just the ZBs. We're at the half. Second half coming up here on the IHSA TV network. Wayne Wade. And the thing. I think that people really need to realize this is not a professional athlete that's just paying lip service to his alma mater. Absolutely, you know, he sent a big donation to the school just a few days ago in honor of these young men. His brother, Demetrius McDaniel, is an assistant coach at Richards. I talked to Demetrius yesterday, and he says, everything Dwayne does through the school, he does through me, meaning what I say the school might be able to utilize, whether it's books, materials, what have you, I let Dwayne know that, and he gives back to the community so much. Okay, so now we are ready to play basketball. It's been, as I said, just a, a real electric feeling here. Part of it, of course, state championship game. Part of it, Dwayne Wade. But the bottom line is 16 minutes to a state champion. One of these two schools is going to pick up their first basketball state championship. Richards with 10 offensive rebounds in the first half. That's why they have a one point lead. Fundamentally, Zion Benton must do a better job of just putting a body on somebody, body them ball, and pull things from the defensive rebounding side of the basketball game. Zion Benton to start, and they go quickly inside to Marcus Yarbrough. You know, Don Cloth is in his 18th year, 19th year, first at state, three years retired. But how about the lineage? He succeeded Phil Judson of the Judson twins, you know, the Hebron, the state championship team, and Rob Judson, of course, is ZB assistant Illinois State now. So he was around that long time, and there's a great deal of tradition in the coaching lineage at Zion Benton as well. And yet Don Cloth has been there 19 years. He's creating his own lineage. The other way, Tommy Thomas. That one's going to go on Prettle, I think, the other way, and that's a great example of a good rebound blockout. Rodney Klinkske, who's only 6'1", was able to get inside Prettle and was able then to make him go over the back and draw the foul. Neither one of these teams accustomed to losing. Zion Benton, 32 and 3. Richards, 29 and 4. And once again, it's Thomas and gets the roll. Thomas was able to finish. Quintrell Love was at the high post, and he didn't meet that pass. That's a cardinal sin. You have to jump to the basketball, and taking advantage of that was Tommy Thomas with a finish off points off turnover. Richards had trailed by as many as seven points at 20 to 13. Rodney Klinkskills. And a one-point game in your state championship contest. Clink scales 10.5 average on the season, so he certainly can score. Stewart wants to run to Love. Quintrell Love will draw the foul, and he will go to the line, shooting for the lead. Quintrell Love has given his team some great minutes off the bench. We talked about him being a key element as a sixth man. You see him explode in the open floor, take the bump and get the ball up to the bucket. That, we are tied. Quintrell Love did not start, but you know what? He's played over 11 minutes of basketball. Don Cloth need, knows he needs him on the floor. And Zion Benton has come out of this locker room, wiped out the one point. Richards late, and now it's the ZB's turn with a minute and a half gone here in the third quarter. 
Spreading the floor right now is Richards. They're gonna try to get a high-low game, get Prattle involved. High-low, Prattle, there it is. Richard, just great vision on the high-low game. Prattle seal his man off. Good pass by Richard, pass the ball away from the defense on the baseline side, and Prattle was able to finish. Here comes a trap, Clint Scales will bounce pass out of it. Good job filling the high post. Tough shot from Lenzel Smith, long range shot, and now Gonzalez. You'll see the entire floor. Denson loads it up. Don't think that was the shot John Chepetto wanted. Stewart, last night's hero, can't get it on the baseline drive. A two on one. Oh, oh my! The circus is in town because the acrobats were on the high flying wire right there. What a great feed pass and a finish. And the reverse of what you would have suspected. 6'8", Sean Prattle with the assist to 6'2", Tommy Thomas. I love watching Ellie Gonzalez. People watching on television can just see every time he has the ball, his eyes are forward, his eyes are up, his eyes are surveying the entire defense in an open floor setting. Once again, Richards back from a deficit. Richards, sky is on top of Yarbrough. Lenzel Smith fronted Richard. He did his job, no backside help. And then Richard was able to finish because no weak side rotation by Zion Benton. Six straight scored now by the Bulldogs. Plank scales all by himself. That lane opened up, and this time it was Richard's Bulldogs who had nobody step in and be in an opportunity to take a charge and finish a defensive play. Good matchup here, Gonzalez and Love. Elliot Gonzalez hung. And he'll go down as Marcus Yarbrough with contact. Inside Quintrell Love for two. Great dish by Ronald Stewart in the open floor. Quintrell Love's the recipient of the dime that comes right off the hands of the Nolan pass. Four straight scored by the Zebes. Neither one of these teams are backing down from the other. About as good as it gets in a 4A championship. And we'll be back to Carver Arena after these local messages. Oh, you have to love our trivia brought to you by the National Association of Realtors. Looking for a professional realtor? Go to realtors.com. All right, we finish up our trivia questions, true or false. Before coming to Carver Arena in Peoria, the state tournament was never held in Peoria. Want my guess? Go ahead. I'm going to say false. I think early on, in the early 1900s, before it moved to Champaign, I think Peoria had the first rights to it. I am going to agree with you. I believe you're right. Scott Johnson's book from last year. I think we'll bear that out. Richards. The one-point lead from the top. Carl Richards. Oh, and he gets it all. Ah, uh, he used the front rim, the back rim, the front rim, but a friendly touch for a man that's going to be playing Missouri Valley basketball next year. But right now, he's got a state championship in his mind. Oh, Lenzel Smith, that's an offensive foul as Frannel takes the charge. Lenzel Smith, basketball being negated, much to his dismay. We'll see the charge. We're staying in there. Was a good job by Frannel as he got his feet squared up. Neat story about Lenzel Smith. He and Ronald Stewart are brothers. Yes, that's right. Reverend Lenzel Smith is the legal guardian of Ronald Stewart. What a great story that is, taking the young man and these two brothers. You can see a symbiotic relationship among them on the basketball court. You know, and after that shot by Ronald Stewart, we'll get to that in a second after we take a look at our answer. We're programming at Carver Arena. In Peoria, was it ever held in Peoria? True or false? False. Aha, you got it. Bradley Gym, 1911 and 1913. The Bradley Gym. Robertson Fieldhouse here in Peoria is in its last days, right? The venerable Roger Robertson Fieldhouse. Pass knocked out of bounds. Back to the Stewart Lenzel Smith angle. That shot by Ronald Stewart that banked in from near half court last night. 
obviously a celebration for Zion Benton and put him in his championship ball game. Lenzel Smith said he was so happy that his brother could do it. Yeah, that's so neat. But because of the unselfishness of Reverend Lenzel Smith, a young man has a chance to, to have a solid situation at home. Nice job by Lenzel Smith. Just kind of backed out Carl Richard. John Geppetto didn't buy it. And the lob was there for Carl Richard of a set play. Lenzel Smith had it scouted out right, but pretty nice body seal on it. Looked like a pulling guard on that block. Happy to have Fox Highlight Chicago as part of our IHSA TV network broadcast live streaming worldwide on foxhighlightschicago.com. Lenzel Smith misses on the three. He went down. Inside the three is Love. Put back Lenzel Smith. Rebound Brattle. Three chances for Zion Benton. Nice catch by Denson. Richards getting front of the defense. Zion Benton has to do a little bit better in transition. Brattle another board. A big man starting to really come up big as we hit the two minute mark of the third quarter. John Cepetto says, get the ball back in Elliott's hands. Let him run our team right now without a primary break or a secondary break. Just one extra little jump there by Elliott Gonzalez. And that was the speed of Quintrell Love who jumped right in front of Elliott Gonzalez and made him drag his pivot foot. So relentless defense by Quintrell Love who just has played every minute of this quarter after playing about 13 minutes in the first half. Love averaging 12.5 points per game. That's a second high on this Zion Benton team that features four players that average in double figures. Ira Williams comes up firing and buries it. Off the bench, the 6'1 senior makes it a one point game. Ira Williams with a sweet stroke in his own right. That's his 18th three of the season. Smith with a step in in front of Carl Richard. For the lead. Williams! Uh, he's feeling it. When you see him beating his chest, he knows he's feeling a little bit of love on the court right now. How about Ira Williams off the bench? Two threes and a two-point Zion Benton lead. Prattle! I tell you what, I'd like to see that one on the replay because Prattle showed the ball to the left. Showed the ball to the right on the entry. Left, right, and then left. And Yarborough, it was no match. We got his back. Just his strength, but his ability to spin both ways and show the basketball. What a complete post move that was from an execution standpoint. That's what's learned in practice on a daily breakdown basis. And that free throw will put the one-point lead back into the Richards column of the scoreboard. Now Richards in a 1-2-2 full court zone press. Smith, neither team backing down. Smith showing no conscience. He says, I don't care if I'm a sophomore, I'm a player. It doesn't matter how long I'm a player, get me the ball. 45-43, Zion Benton. Tommy Thomas checked the clock above the basket, still shows 20 seconds. Now bring it out to Gonzalez. Discretion, the better part of Valor, Tommy Thomas, the cerebral quarterback, he knew not to try to make a play. So he's gonna try to make one there and he initiates contact. And he did because the clock was under 10 seconds. I had to make an offensive move. He used his athleticism to kind of slide across the baseline. We'll see the replay here with Tommy Thomas being able to use his body, his balance and his control to get the ball up to the glass. Richards, four of 13 from the line in the first half. Tommy Thomas shooting 62%. We mentioned he's a quarterback. He'll probably play defensive back at Purdue. There's time for the Zebes. And of course, Ronald Stewart. Dish inside, Marcus Yarbrough at the buzzer. Takes it coast to coast, he finds the big man, Marcus Yarborough. And we go to the fourth quarter, Zion Benton by three.
back at Carver Arena, eight minutes of basketball left, maybe more in this high school basketball season. Zion Benton up three, the ZB fans riding a roller coaster of emotions, and we're gonna ride the roller coaster with them. All right, here we go. Whoa. Okay, careful. Uh, I wish I hadn't eaten all this popcorn. Oh, I wish I hadn't eaten all that popcorn. Ah! I'm getting dizzy. Whoa, oh, woo! All right. <laughs> yes, it's a roller coaster ride in March Madness, guys. Eight minutes left. Indeed, Lee, in this game in particular. Wow. This has been entertainment that you just can't get anywhere else but March Madness, the original March Madness. The amazing thing is how many athletes there are on the floor. Not just the 10 here, but everybody off the bench is a contributor as well. Randall. Somehow Gonzalez comes up with it. We talked about offensive rebound being heart. He's got the heart of a lion. He wears it on his chest. When you're not blocking out physically, Zion Benton has had trouble with that. Not a good rebounder, you do not go to the glass. You go body, then ball. You make contact with your defender, and then go for the rebound. And so Benton is not blocked out from a, from a fundamental standpoint very well this evening. And it's hurt them on the defensive boards. You look at Elliot Gonzalez, that expression has not changed this entire tournament. You know, I had a chance to visit with him yesterday, Thursday, in the shoot-around. He probably called me sir about three or four times in the conversation. What a classy young man. And two free throws has pulled his team to within one. Smith. The rebound is Stewart. Inside Antonio Stewart. You can count it. Antonio Man. Stewart hanging around. Area three quarter stance brought to you by Menard. Save big money at Menard. Well, we see 16 out of 39 for Richards and 17 out of 42 for Zion Benton. So the shooting percentage is very similar. Free throw line, both teams have been abysmal. That's a storyline. Somebody's going to have to win this thing at the free throw line in the fourth quarter. Rebounding, that's an awful lot of missed shots. And there's been an awful lot of bodies playing above the rim. Zion Benton now with the four point lead at 50 46. Gonzalez was in trouble and he knew what to do with it. You can see Gonzalez trying to bring the ball down on a 45 degree angle. It's definitely a part of the fourth quarter adjustment to get the ball in Prettle's hands. I think they'll have a little better angle. They go Richard and Prettle high low game. Back to Gonzalez, did the best he can. The ball will stay the Richards end of the floor. You get the big man, you just get it to him in a hurry. Nice execution on the inbounds play. We saw a two-man game screening with Richard and Frettel. Frettel was actually the screener for Richard to the strong side, and then he stepped right inside his man, sealed off, and of course that's a set play. Gonzalez was able to make that great recognition and get the ball to his 6'7 junior star uh, with, great with a great precision pass. Frettel just one of six from the line tonight. Free throw shooting in high school basketball has been a downward trend for a long time. Randall on the season, a 55% free throw shooter, and yet we've seen him make that mid-range to three-point shot here in this tournament. I think we'll have statistician Andy Lindo from the 639 mark on keep free throws from this point on, rather than just a total game, because whoever is going to win this game is going to have to finish it from the free throw line. He splits them. Pressure. Rodney Klinkscales threw it to Antonio Stewart. 
Dribble penetration, getting the ball deep, creating three on two situations after they beat the first tier of the defense. Kyle Richard looking for three. One handed rebound and the follow by Sean Brandle. It's not going to be very long where Zion Benton's going to have to get Yarborough back in this basketball game. The pace is too fast for him, but they need his body inside. This is Quintrell Love. Bulldog basketball down by three. Richard for the tie, yes! Absolutely well executed for the umpteenth time. The pick, the ball screen by Richard. Gonzalez utilized it. They don't cover up on the screener and he steps out, pick and pop and nails a three. And click scales the other way. Right in the face of Denston, the clink sales was able to make the play. Every player on this floor has come up huge tonight. Denson saw something that wasn't there. And now the ZBs by three in the ball at the five minute mark of this 4A championship game. Gonzalez senses numbers, has it, Richard. Big miss by Carl Richard inside. And now it's the ZB's numbers. Love fakes right, goes left, block Brandle. Here we come this way. And Thomas will finish. Dave Bernhardt, catch your breath because your play-by-play -play is up and down, up and down, up and down. What a frenetic pace. A one-point game. And Don Cloth, even with a media timeout coming up, uses one of his. So we'll take a timeout. It's a local timeout, and we'll be back after this. And here is your Walgreens picture perfect moment. The Evanston Wildkids hoisting that third place state trophy in Class 4A. Walgreens is a proud sponsor of these IHSA telecasts and the IHSA Do What's Right sportsmanship program. With Lee Hall, Ashley Robinson, I'm Dave Bernhard with Mark Lindo alongside Mark. Six lead changes, one tie this half, yet as you said during the break, these teams are just playing. You know, you've asked me a couple times throughout the weekend about Summer League. This is controlled playground. This is coached playground, but athleticism, there's no holds barred. I mean, they're just going at each other and skill, speed, stamina, and we'll see who finishes. Do we dare think about a finish that we had last night in Zion Benton's win? Marcus Yarbrough, turnaround. Clink scales, he's come up huge. 11 points for Rodney Clink scales. He's dished, he scored deep, and he scores off the offensive backboard. You know, he knew where Yarbrough was at. He's hanging around the weak side, making sure that he knew where the miss was going to come from, and he finishes it. Sean Brandle goes the other way. And we'll then check, said, in, check in with Lee Hall. All right, Dave, uh, in the huddle with Richards and John Cepetto, great sense of calm in that huddle. He said, we're all right, one possession at a time. We've got to just take our time, uh, play good defense, good pressure on the ball. Everybody else get down in your stance. It's going to be a one possession game the rest of the game, and we can do this. And he put his hand as a fist and said, stay together. Back to you. Wow. Awesome stuff right there from Lee, from John Chepetto. Here's Quintrell Love. He's had a big night for the block to Tommy Thomas. Love makes a great play on the post move. Thomas makes a great play with the block. Both on the offense, defensive end. Something Lee shared with us, stay low on defense. There's an easy part of basketball. On offense, you want to stay lower than your opponent so you can beat him off the dribble. On defense, you want to stay lower than your opponent so he can't do that. It becomes a war of attrition, and it becomes who's more or less in shape and who's more or less tired. We are under three minutes. And people tangled up your foul situation. 
Zion Benton now with their seventh team foul. Richards has only four fouls in this half. So they go to the bonus with 2.45 to go. We'll see where they shoot from this point on. Their first opportunity at a one on one and a chance for a whole lot of athletes holding their knees to catch their breath here for just a brief few seconds. The tie, but the lead! Sean Bradle off the miss will give Richards the one point advantage with two and a half to play. Neither of these teams showing one bit of fear whatsoever. You can see confidence in the eyes of all 10 athletes. I'll be very surprised if these 10 athletes don't play the duration of this basketball game. This is who's gonna finish unless there's some kind of situational substitution. Double high post screen to be set up here by the Zebes. Stuart and Gonzalez up top. Clink scales the senior. Richards the ball, the one point lead. With two minutes to play. We're gonna love the matchup on the ball. Love guarding Gonzalez. And now Stewart. And that will be goaltending, and that will be a ZB lead. Great play following the play, but an excellent call by Wayne Lair right on top of that. You see the run out by Ronald Stewart, and then the block. Maybe he got that against the, against the rim. I don't know, but great acceleration by Stewart after Ilya Gonzalez had basically fallen down and turned it over by midcourt. It was Tommy Thomas with the goaltending call, 90 seconds left. Prattle inside, he is so tough in there. He's gone right at Yarborough, back-to-back -back trips down the floor and gotten no help from his defense, has Yarborough from his teammates. Zion Benton with 60 seconds to play in regulation. Stewart. Steps on the baseline, and with 57.6, it will be Bulldog basketball. It's amazing as we watch both coaches or get a shot at either one of them, just both of them animated, but very, very much under control. These guys are the directors of their team. Tommy Thomas. John Chepetto says, bring it out. Zion Benton will have to chase here, down by one. The chase becomes a foul. So Ilya Gonzalez will have the first chance to help his team from the free throw line. He's a 71% shooter, and he's the kind of guy you want to line. Another storyline here, Richards only has four fouls. So they have two to give against Zion Benton, especially on a runout or transition. Gonzalez crawls that first one over the front of the rim, and the blackout, the Richard student section, feeling emotions that they have never felt in their school's history. The second makes it a three-point difference. Here come the Zebes. Inside it goes Love. And a timeout called by Don Cloak. Great transitional play by the Zebes. We'll be back. 31.2 to play in a state championship game. Back at Carver Arena, and remind you that Apple's Bakery Peoria has introduced a new gluten free line of desserts. Yes, it's true. Check out their website at applesbakery.com. And Parents Apples also has great college student packages and corporate gifts as well. That's Apples Bakery in Peoria. Let's check out the Chevy Drive of the game. 
brought to you by Chevrolet. See what's new. Go to ChevyDriveChicago.com. It was Prattle to Thomas for two. Prattle nine points this quarter. On the inbounds, Richards wants a timeout. One timeout left for Zion Benton. Two for Richards. See Coach Cloth in the huddle there. Again, calm and cool. He's been doing this for 19 years, probably about 30 years overall. Been retired from teaching three years. His passion for the game. You see Coach Geppetto also setting his situation for his team. He is also very calm and cool. Not a whole lot of emotion. He wants his team to be able to stay under control and make sure that everybody knows what they're supposed to do on this first possession. This is what it looks like. A one point Richards lead. We mentioned Richards with two timeouts. The foul situation, as Mark said, can be oh so important and that possession arrow belongs to Zion Benton. With 31.2 seconds to play. See the Richards team huddled right in front of us and it was Ilya Gonzalez, the one that was carrying on the conversation with his arm around his teammates. His teammate, Tommy Thomas, says of Ilya Gonzalez, he said, he will not let us use. We let us lose. We beat up. <laughs> John Chepetto, Richard's head coach, looks our way and oh. grabs his heart. <laughs> All in a day's work, Coach Chepetto. <laughs> Thomas, back to Richard. Gonzalez finds Denson. And it will be Mike Denson going to the free throw line. He will have a one and one, a 73.6% free throw shooter. So at this juncture, Coach Cloth has a decision to make. Does he utilize his last time out, quote unquote, ice the shooter and set his defense? Or does he let his team play in transition and have a timeout left in his back pocket if they would score on a make and still be trailing? Lenzel Smith back in the game. He has four fouls. He was taken out on that defensive possession. Denson, ice. 63-61, Richards. If Denson will make this shot, I think that you'll see probably clink scales just go coast to coast, take the ball to the basket. They need three. Here's clink scales. And he drops it in. Great job, that's exactly what he said he would do is go coast to coast and save that timeout. Good job by Klinkscales using his speed. What a floater by Rodney Klinkscales. He has seven of his 13 points here in the fourth quarter. 6-1 senior. And now the foul situation, important in another aspect. If Zion Benton is forced to foul, it will be their 10th team foul, and that's an automatic two free throws. Here's John Chepetto. What he's telling them is come back to the basketball. He's setting up some screen situations, making sure the official knows his team can run the baseline, the inbounder. What Zion Benton will be doing is they will have full front. They'll switch all screens in the backcourt and they'll probably have a center, would call a center fielder, a guy that would be an interceptor on any kind of lob pass. The key for Richards, though, is to have their backline guys become available and present for a situation where they catch the basketball. Let's go very quickly to Lee Hall. All right, guys, John Chapetta reminding his players it was a made basket, they can run the baseline, no cross-court passes when they get it in, and they've still got two timeouts. Back to you. And Zion Benton is out of timeouts, so that also another factor with 16.4 seconds to play. Good job though by Zion Benton. They saved that timeout. They took it coast to coast and they made it another possession game. Good coaching maneuver by Don Cloth. Thomas will go to the line to shoot two. Double bonus situation. Now Coach Geppetto knows he's got two fouls to give. They'll guard the arc, obviously, if he makes these two shots, but you will see Richards foul not once, but twice before Zion Benton get a shot off. Thomas, three of four from the line tonight. 62% on the season. He gets two. 
Three in a row down the stretch. You see John Cepetto telling Eli Gonzalez foul. They have those two to give. This free throw for a three-point Richards Bulldogs lead. Both coaches doing a great job down the stretch with their each, each individual team. A two-point difference. But Tommy Thomas crashes the boards. And Richards will get another opportunity. That's a cardinal sin. Again, it's the second time we've seen it tonight where the shooter was not blocked out. Tommy Thomas is able to get himself back to the free throw line where now he can basically ice it with two makes. That's one and a three point difference. Six foot two inch senior, Tommy Thomas. It's a four point Richards lead. And a foul and it took a second off the clock. Yeah, that's one thing. Ellie Gonzalez was fouling, and John Chapetta was timeout. Now they want to make them throw a pass or two, use three or four more seconds before they foul. Richards will use one of their two remaining timeouts. The other way, if you're Zion Benton now, down by four, you are out of timeouts. How do you play 10.5 seconds? Well, I'll tell you what, the key is out of timeouts because you cannot stop the clock. If you score, Dave, I'll tell people this now, you do call timeout. You do call timeout. Yes, it's a technical foul. But if you don't do that, the clock runs out. It's your only chance to stop the clock. I think they still need the quick two. If they can get the ball down the floor on two or three dribbles, a dish off, and the quick two, and then you almost have, you have no choice but to call a timeout take the technical foul, hope they miss a free throw or two, and then set up your defense on the dead ball situation, the sideline out of bounds play. Unless you can score within the next five seconds and then force Richards, they have to exactly. the ball. So that Don Cloak has got to be thinking in many different levels right now. Well, both coaches are thinking many oh. different levels, trying to think one or two plays ahead. And uh, right now, again, what Richards is trying to do is get one more foul in, in about two or three seconds. Let's check in with Ashley Robinson. Zion Benton's pretty much just going to try and get it up the floor as quick as possible, and whoever has the three to take it. It goes. Simple game plan for Don Cloak. Now the key here also with Richards. They still have that one foul they can give. Here we go. Gonzalez had to grab it. Took just a little more than a second off, and now Richards does not want to foul. The next one put him in the bonus. So what they did is they were able to basically utilize about two more seconds. If you can make them turn the basketball one or two more times, burn three seconds, you're in great shape if you're Richards. They have to go three-quarter court. Clink scales. Stewart tries to draw the foul to three. It's not going to happen. And your state champs in 2008, the Richards Bulldogs. championship they thought their school thought that the best possibility for a state championship this year would come from their football team the football team eliminated in the 6a quarterfinals they did not win it for retiring football coach Gary Carhonen but the basketball team did win it for John Cepetto and Ashley Robinson is standing by with him coach coach I can see you're emotional right now, so we'll make it quick. Just tell me how excited and how proud you are of these boys. You know, 
it, these kids, we knew we knew they weren't going to go away. Both teams, we knew our kids weren't going to go away, and we knew this would be a fight down to the very last second. And uh, I can't tell you how proud of these kids are. I, I am of these kids. I mean, they're. We had our struggles at times during the season. We picked the last three weeks to really come together as one, and here we are, state champions for the first time in Richards history in boys basketball. First time for the South Suburbs and the South Side of Chicago in a long time. So we're really excited about all of that. Congratulations, Coach. Let me get this guy over here. We've got our country insurance and financial services player of the game, Carl Richard. 19 points and eight rebounds. Big game for you, last one. How happy are you for this championship? I'm ecstatic right now, man. It ain't nothing better than this right That's why I play basketball right here. Well, you did a great job and look forward to seeing you play in the future. Good luck. Back to you, Dave. State champs hail from Oak Lawn as Dwayne Wade, the big man, gives the little man a big hug. And they're going to get their trophies in just a bit. Your final score from Carver Arena, Richard 67, Zion Benton 63. Stay there. More coming up on the IHSA TV network. This IHSA broadcast is... Presenting the medallions for the second place awards will be Doug Domarecki, assisted by Paul Whittington. Presenting the trophy later will be Jim Woodward. Presenting the first place medallions, Ross Cuccio, assisted by Dr. Jim Quaid. Dr. Joyce Kenner will present the first place trophy. At this time, please meet the ZBs of Zion Benton, who finished in second place in 4A, a record of 32 and 4. Meet the superintendent of Zion Benton, Dr. Deborah Clark. Principal, Scott Murphy. Athletic director, Lonnie Bible. Trainer, Sandy Johansson. Head coach of the ZBs, Donald Cloth. <laughs> Assistant coach, Bob Worthington. Assistant coach, Eric Kellner. Assistant coach, Scott Peckler. Assistant coach, Jacob Carlson. And now the ZB's players. Number 10, Sorellis Lockett. <laughs> 11, Rodney Klingscales. 15, Ronald Stewart. 20, Ira Williams, Jr. 21, Tanner Boyce. 22, Quinton Pete. 23, Quintwell Love. 24, Antonio Stewart. 25, Irvin Jacobs. 31, Armani Peterson. 32, Lenzel Smith. 33, Marcus Yarbrough. 40, Owen Worthington. And 41, Ed Long. Zion Benton Zeebies, third place. Second place, 4A, 2008. At this time, please meet the Bulldogs of Oakland Richard, the first place champions, 4A, 30 and 4. Meet the superintendent 
of Richards, Dr. John Byrne. Principal, Ross Cuccio. Athletic Director, Ken Styler. Trainer, Sarah Barr. Head Coach, John Cepetto. <laughs> Assistant Coach, Demetrius McDaniel. Assistant Coach, Tim Baker. Assistant Coach Derek Johnson. Assistant Coach Bill Judge. And now the Bulldogs players to Mike Denson. Four, Tyrone Roper. Five, Elliot Gonzalez. Ten, Randall Rushing. Eleven, Lamar Harvey. Twelve, Corey Wolf. 21, Sean Prattle. 23, Tommy Thomas. 30, Sammy Olian. 33, Keith Sconyers. 34, Carl Richard. 40, Jeff Harris. 44, Dwayne McGee. 45, Peter Danos. 50, Kyle Rinkin. Congratulations. Oakland Richards Bulldogs, 4A champions 2008. And now, well, Coach Cloth and the captains of Zion Benton step forward and receive the second place trophy. Now, Coach Geppetto and the captains of Richards, please step forward to receive the first place trophy, 2008 4A. On behalf of the Yellow High School Association of the City of Peoria, thank you for being a part of America's original March Madness here at Carver Arena. We hope you enjoyed your stay in Peoria. Wherever you're driving next, please drive safely. The first time in school history, the Bulldogs from Richards High School get to raise that state championship trophy. Last week, St. Anne won Class 1A, and back in 1979, Providence and New Lenox won the Class A title. However, this win by Richards marks the first basketball championship in boys' double-A basketball since Lockport did it in 1978. Let's take a look at our final stats here, brought to you by Menards. Save big money at Menards. There's a lot of numbers up there, but the free throw numbers that you don't see, Mark, really tell a huge story. Absolutely, Zion Benton didn't get there. 16 for 29 for Richards, ladies and gentlemen, but in the last 41 seconds, when it really counted, they made seven out of eight. They dominated the glass 42 to 30, and they were able to do that by 
uh, negating the running game basically of Zion Benton. So second chance opportunities, Richards had enough to keep them going. Just a great basketball game, but the free throws down the stretch, as you mentioned, I think were the key. Here are your scoring leaders, Carl Richard with 19, Sean Friedel 16, Tommy Thomas with 15, two of those three guys, football players on the other side. Quintrell Love, 16 points, not quite enough. Let's take a look at our Honda post-game highlights. Honda featuring the all-new 